What's up guys? I'm going to be sending off a soil test so I thought I'd tell you a little about my sampling procedure. The lab I'm using is Waypoint Analytical in Memphis, Tennessee. It's a reputable lab with several locations around the country. They have a quick turnaround time and their price is very reasonable. Their basic soil test is under 20 bucks. Before you get started it's important to think about what you need to do to get a good sample. They only use a few ounces of soil for the test so it's very important to make sure that what you send in is a representative sample of your lawn. I send in one sample for the entire lawn, but if you've got a large lawn, you may want to think about sending in multiple samples. I divide my lawn into zones and then determine what percentage of my total lawn area that each zone represents. In this graphic, you'll see that my front yard is about 68% of my total lawn area, the backyard is about 25%, and the side yard is 7%. So if I was pulling 100 cores, ideally 68 of them would come from the front yard, 25 from the backyard, and 7 from the side yard. But Waypoint only needs about a pint of soil for the test I'm ordering, so I'm not going to pull 100 cores. Instead, I'm going to use the same ratio and pull 17 plugs from the front, 6 from the back, and 2 from the side yard. To pull the cores, I use this stainless steel soil sampling probe. I forget where I bought this thing, but you can order them from various places online. For lawns, Waypoint recommends sampling to a depth of 4 to 6 inches. This tool pulls a 5 inch core, so it works great. To collect the samples, I work in a random zigzag pattern until I collect all the dirt I need. I scrap any plant material or thatch layer at the top and make sure I get a really clean sample. Once I have all the dirt, I mix it up really well, put it in a quart size Ziploc bag and write my name on the outside. The next step is to fill out the form. On the form, you're just going to provide them some basic customer information, which test or test you want run, and a crop code if you want their agronomist to make a recommendation. I order their S3M test, which tests for these nutrients. Okay, I think I've covered all the basics, so it's time to get to work. But the grass is getting a little bit tall, so let's give it a quick cut before we get started. Alright guys, so it's Saturday and my neighbor's outside mowing his grass, so I'm going to inflict some real low double cut domination.
see that little guy? They make a huge mess on my lawn with these worm castings, but that's good for aeration. Okay, so using the soil sampling probe is as simple as pushing it down into the ground, giving it a little twist, and pulling out the core. I like to put my soil samples in a uh, clean plastic bucket. I pull out any of the grass or root matter uh, because what I want to send in is just clean, fresh dirt. Okay, so what I'm going to do is continue this process until I've gathered all my samples. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it. I'm gonna get this soil sample mixed up really well. I'm gonna bag it up, I'm gonna get it mailed off, and I should get the results back in about a week. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.